Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Soris and well, first of all, I wanted to wish you all a happy Pride Month. Even for those who are confused, I really really hope you enjoy this month, which is your month basically. And well, there is a few points that I'll cover today. First is explaining some sexuality that some people ask me to explain better and fix since I made a mistake in some of them. If you're not into any kind of sexuality or don't have an open mind, I recommend that you click away from this video. You can stay if you want a better explanation for some of the flags or do you just want to learn more? You can comment if there's anything wrong or do you want me to talk about a different topic, maybe the fetish flags? or even something uh, non pride mode related maybe some art maybe some games you know we're all about everything in this channel also a quick little parenthesis here i just wanted to thank all of you guys from the bottom of my heart all of your comments all of your support it's just have been overwhelming i've never been showered with so much love before and 200 and 37 subs as recording this video it's so much more than I could have ever imagined like really really thank you all I have like no words to, 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 to thank you I've heard your comments I've heard your suggestions so well read them and you know that your wishes are my command I love making you guys happy and seeing so many comments about how you helped some people find their pride how they learn more or even find entertaining the last video it's just wow like really thank you all so much I promise I'll make you proud like really I promise I'll make you proud you may have seen in the last video I tried everything that I could to respond and like every single comment that I got I really really care so much for you guys so thank you for giving me this opportunity uh, let's jump into the explanation, shall we? So, how was Pride Month born? It was born in June 20th of 1969, when the police raided the Stonewall Inn in New York City Greenwich Village, where gay and drag queens actually fought. And after this incident, the movement of rights for the gay uh, was set on, and we commemorate this event as the Pride Month once a year. Next up is the flank that you're looking up right now. You may recognize it from the last video. If you haven't watched it, I'm going to leave a link in the description and a annotation somewhere on the screen for you to go and check it out. The flag that you're looking up right now is the Lavery's Pride flag. Many people had questions about this and here I am to make it brief and describe it better. This flag is representative of the Greek goddess Demeter, who was thought to protect women. And this is basically a matriarchal pie flag. It, it's said to represent the independence and the strength of women, and that's why it has an axe, basically. Next up is the difference between the polyromantic, the polyamorous, the panromantic, and the polysexual. Shall we begin? Polyamory, the flag you're looking up right now. Polyamory people are those who practice or are interested in having a relationship with more than one partner. Of course, every person involved has to have consented. Polyamory is a type of non-monogamy, I hope I pronounced that correctly, which means that it does not stand strictly by the rules of monogamy, again I hope I pronounced that correctly, which means that a person stands with a partner for once in a lifetime. Polyamory doesn't have to be sexual, it can also go in a non-sexual way, as long as everyone involved has agreed to this. Polyamory is considered both a sexual orientation and a gender identity. People who have been into polyamory relationships have said that it's not quite easy. There are so many values and morals that go along with it for everyone in the relationship to be happy. This goes from loyalty, non-possessiveness, honesty, respect, trust and so many more. And there can also be more than one person in 
the relationship, you know, more than one people. This means from four to five, six, as many as you like. Next up is a polyromantic. This means that you are attracted to many sexes, yet not all of them. This is a bit weird, but here's a trick. This also means that you are not necessarily attracted to them in a sexual way. Do not get confused with the panromantic though. Polyromantic means that you can be attracted to certain sexes in a sexual way or not, but you do not feel attraction for the other sexes. Next up is a pan-romantic, like that you're looking up right now. People who are pan-romantic means that you are attracted to all genders and sexualities, but in a non-sexual way. Seems similar to asexuality, but sexuality can be attracted to certain genders and certain sexes, like being, for example, asexual. Homo romantic, the flag that you're looking up right now. This means that you are attracted to only your same sex, but in a non-sexual way. And last, but certainly not least, polysexuality. A polysexual person is that who considers themselves in all sexualities. You can also be attracted to all sexes in a romantic way or a sexual way. Either way, this means that you can be considered a pansexual, a asexual, a bisexual, like between all the prides you can consider yourself in all of them. That's why it's a polysexuality. Poly means many. And now the next topic that we're going to cover, coming out. Coming out is never easy to family and friends and some sexual orientations actually have a harder time coming out. This is where I'll give my advice on coming out, but I will leave a link to the official LGBT on this topic. So if you want to check that out, you can see the link in the description or on the screen right now. Again, this is my opinion and my personal advice. You don't have to follow strictly every single thing that I tell you. You can consider it maybe as a tip. So let's begin. What I think it's better is to start up slow. You know, like slowly maybe start introducing them or maybe see how they would react. For example, maybe tell them about a meme or some news that you heard on the internet, maybe on Facebook. Like, try and see what they think about the topic. Like, try to talk to them about that. Maybe while you are eating, when you're on a car ride, whatever. Like, try and see, like, slowly. Like, don't go just straight up and say, hey, I'm this. Like, don't go straight up like that because maybe that will take them by surprise and they can have a bad reaction. And from there they will tell you what they think about it, if they think it's funny, if they take it way too serious, like even for it to be a meme, they are like, that shouldn't be, or... There's every single type of people in this world. Some will hate, some will love, and some are completely intermediate. That's why you have to consider their reaction in that moment. As soon as you see, for example, that they are okay with it, then you have a point for yourself. But as soon as you see that they are a little bit aggressive, that they are like denying it, they are angry, just try and take that as a point for be careful or take it slow. Because also for coming out, you need to be certain what you are. And I know this is confusing, especially for some people in my last video. Some of you were confused. And I understand it. Getting to know yourself is not an easy way, it's not an easy path. Sometimes you cry, sometimes you just like get all angry and flustered and everything comes up. So don't worry, take your time. It's not a trend. Sexuality is not a trend. You don't have to be like, hey, what if I am this sexuality just because it's the pride month? I'm just leaving this again, this is my personal opinion on this, but really what I think before coming out is to be certain of what you are. For the people that you come out to, for them to be certain what you are. And 
also explain to them if they are like confused or don't know about the pride that you are like be sure to know about your pride and be sure to explain to them in the good way and in the correct way on how it is like if you're an asexual be sure to let them know what asexuality means if you're a pansexual make them sure you explain what a pansexual person is or what they do like and, and all of this can be reached in a non-aggressive way you don't have to scream and bash the table and be are angry and no you can calm down and if your family starts to get angry or agitated you know you can just like say you know what we're going to talk about this later like let the heat go down and talk about it later or leave it completely out of the way again you're the one who knows your family better than I do of course so you see how to temper with them in the good way of course and well I think that's everything for the topic of coming out anyways guys thank you all so much for watching I love your support please leave a comment on anything that that you like or correct me in this video you know I'm open-minded and I try to comment and reply to many comments as I can let me know what you think of the format of the video if you like sorties on the screen or not and also a huge thank you for the person who allowed me to use this um, video of the cars on the background thank you so much I am Soris, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye, love you.